Gear Smoker Thirds, my energy levels are really elevated today. Because I've had a delivery. It's an LG Ultra Gear gaming monitor for me pinball rig. We're going to unbox it. We're going to put it on there. We're going to see what it can do. And it's a precursor to building a proper pinball cabinet, which I'm going to ask you whether you want to see that unfold on the channel or not. So without further ado, let's rip that box apart. Yes, live on Mike Makes Gizmos Music. We're ripping it open, as you can see. Very well packed. There's lots of accoutrements like the stand here, which you're probably not going to use. Obviously, power supply, other bits and brackets. Here comes the fun bit, getting it out. Well done there. Unveiling this beauty. And this is a 32 inch LG Ultra Gear monitor. One millisecond response time, which was the main factor why I chose this one. Before we get to the exciting bits, here's a quick sweep shot. New term, showing the position, where and how the new monitor is going to be placed. The rig is based on a sink base unit with all my self-made circuit boards on top. I've handcrafted these timber risers to rest the playfield monitor on above the electronics, so that's where the new one's gonna go. In this next segment, we're gonna cite fair use because I'm going to demonstrate the monitor with some tables from the Pinball Effect 3 stable. This is okay as I purchased the Pinball Effect 3 obviously from Steam, so I've got an implied license to use it. And also it's transformative work, educational. We're gonna talk about the monitor, demonstrating it with their tables. Without further ado, let's get the thing fired up. Let's see what it can do. I'm excited, hope you are, let's go. The screen is QHD resolution, which stands for Quad High Definition. Think of it like somewhere in between Full HD and 4K. The pixels are 2560 by 1440, as compared to the 1980 by 1080 of 1080p Full HD fame. This looks sharp with good contrast. The colors look vibrant. Do you agree? Please like and subscribe to the video or share it if you like it because it lets YouTube know that the video is half decent and it might help the channel to grow. So please do that, much appreciated if you do. Okay, sorry, I've had to improvise a little bit here as the SD card on the 550D died. So I'm using my phone now. But I'd like to go through a little bit of the full process I went through thinking about choosing this monitor. A few key factors came into play when looking for a monitor and choosing one. These were size, response time, resolution, and color ratio. I did look into larger monitors than 32 inch which were closer to a real pinball machine, playfield side. So I was looking at 40 inch, 42 inch. The problem I found with that was that the larger monitors seem to have response times of typically five milliseconds to 8.5 milliseconds, which to me was an unacceptable degree of lag. So there is a trade-off it seems between 
size being close to a real pinball machine play field and playability. 32 inch seemed a good size. I still am going to be able to have a regulation width of my cabinet with a slight border around the screen, which I'm not too worried about. I'm going to do something jazzy with that. So that was all good. The response time of the monitor is one milliseconds on this one, which makes it a good choice and ticks a box. The resolution is QHD. So it's a vast jump up from the 1080p monitor that I had before in terms of clarity, but it keeps away from that true 4k mark where I found the price difference is quite significant all things considered that's what focused me onto this monitor because it seemed like a good compromise for what I intended to do I managed to buy this monitor at a Black Friday deal for £199 which I think is more than reasonable the refresh rates are 144 Hz on normal HDMI input and 165 Hz apparently it's capable of but I haven't used that yet and I think that's because you have to use the display port to achieve that rate. Thanks for that. Now to the conclusion. Well, all things considered, I hope you'll agree, I think it's a first class monitor for a pinball playfield. It's responsive, the resolution's good, all my boxes were ticked, the size is reasonable, and a big jump up from my 27 inch version I had before, which has enabled me to use the 27 inch one I had before for the, for the back glass monitor. But that's good, because I only had a little one before. Getting back to the actual monitor itself, I think it's well made, well finished. It's not truly minimal bezel. There's a thick bottom to it, if you know what I mean, on the left hand side as it's laid down on the play field. But to me, that's not a major issue because I knew, always knew that my cabinet, if I'm having it regulation thimble width, is gonna have a boulder on either side anyway. So I'm just gonna trim that up. So it's gonna be fine. I think the price was very reasonable for the refresh rate you get as well and the contrast ratio you get and the fact it's QHD. So my conclusion is I'm really pleased with it. I hope you agree it's good and if you're making a pinball rig sort of a two thirds or three quarters size, this would be a very good monitor to consider in my opinion. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it. I'm looking forward to your comments to know what to do next. My question to you, Gizmographers, I need a bit of guidance on this channel. I've done a few videos now, some complex projects, some simple projects. I've only done one simple project. But I need to know more of what you as the viewers want, because otherwise it's just me massaging my ego, which I'm a bit tired of. So please give me some comments and some feedback as to what you might want me to do on the channel. I'm happy to do it, I enjoy doing it. I just want it to be something that I'm doing for enjoyment but also other people want to see it as well otherwise I might as well not slow myself up I might as well just do my gizmos and leave it at that and just get them done happy to film things do things but I really need your help on knowing what to do next so appreciation in advance for all that next thing I've got a couple of ideas that you might want to consider as to what you might want me to do on the channel I'm prepared to follow through my process of building my pinball cabinet I've actually got some of the components already received them. They're in the boxes there, I'm going through the design process at the moment. So I'm happy to cover that. If that's something you want, let me know. If you'd like me to go through my temporary pinball rig, which I did on a budget to get me going, if you're interested in just getting involved in virtual pinball on a shoestring, I'm happy to go over all of that. The other way it could go, and let me know again is there's a lot of channels doing purchasing of broken items fixing them refurbishing them i thought about doing that it's very hard to come by i find at the right price these items to fix doesn't seem to have as many thrift stores and things like that in the uk as the us guys do and a lot of people are already doing that sort of content but if enough people tell me that's what they want well who am i to argue See you in the next video.